Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again with a new video. Uh, today our topic is uh, stairwell pressurization system. What is stairwell pressurization system and how it works? So first of all we will start from stairwell pressurization system and after this I will show you how to calculate the required airflow to pressurize the stairwell. Here you can see the stairwell. Uh, why we need a stairwell pressurization system like you can see the occupied space when when our occupied space caught fire so the smoke will flow toward the stairwell so we need to pressurize it, pressurize the stairwell so the smoke will not flow uh, toward the stairwell and it just push the uh, smoke toward the occupied space so the persons or the people can easily uh, access to the um, stairs and can uh, go out to, through emergency doors here you can see these are the doors between the occupied space and the uh, stairwell whenever the occupied space caught fire like uh, here you can see this person this person will uh, just start running toward the stairwell in this case the lift uh, will not work me sometime you will use this emergency uh, exit so here the pressurization system will start to provide air so this air will push the smoke toward this area occupied area so the people can easily uh, access to the emergency door uh, without smoke and this pressurization system also provide oxygen to these people that are in uh, stairwells so this is the one picture and this is the another here you can see the blower or any pressurization fan which provide the air to the uh, this stairwell to push the smoke toward the occupied area so the person can see uh, the uh, see the stairwell and can easily go out through emergency doors uh, this is the one example and this is the another here you can see this is the duct system there's fan just provide the air in this case the other uh, pressure just other uh, air conditioning system just stopped to the uh, through the uh, smoke alarm or smoke dampers uh, we use smoke dampers in the air HV, hvac system so the all uh, air conditioning uh, equipments are stopped and just uh, this pressurization unit is on to push the uh, smoke and the uh, person can easily access to this exit door this is the another example here we just pressurize the this area this plus 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 this area is pressurized uh, so the smoke will flow toward this damp uh, this is these occupied space and the exhaust fan will exhaust the smoke in the atmosphere so now we will uh, check how to calculate the required airflow uh, for our uh, building for staircase pressurization here uh, this is the sample uh, excel sheet in which you can see this is the building height from lowest level of fire service access including roof parapet here i am using 15 meters because i have a low rise building which is almost 15 meter and in other if in provision of stair pressurization system is mandatory yes or no it's already uh, by default no and here you have a choice is sprinkler system provide for fire protection like if you are providing sprinkler system you just say yes or if you are not using sprinkler system in uh, for fire protection you just say no so I am using the uh, sprinkler system I just select the yes length of stairwell like uh, you can see in this picture this is the length of stairwell and uh, second one is the width of stairwell width of stairwell toward this direction this is the height like this is the x-axis this is the y-axis y y-axis y, y is the height x is the length and the 
uh, z-axis that will be your width of uh, stairwell total height of stairwell including basement where applicable if you have this criteria you will use this total height of stairwell here in meters and number of level in stairwell how many levels you have in your buildings like in this case one two three four five these are five uh, a number of stairwells and fifth one is ceiling height up to uh, like uh, you can see here this is the ceiling height uh, in our case it's 4.6 meter from here to here so you will provide this it depends upon your building uh, and sixth one is pressure difference this is the pressure difference I am using 12.4 Pascal uh, what is the pressure difference pressure difference is, is actually the difference across this and the occupied space like the difference between the pressure in stairwell and the uh, occupied space so I am using this pressure difference so the air will flow toward this this will be negative pressure and this will be on positive pressure and uh, average leakage ratio for walls which is already provided by NFPA 92 so this all is according to the NFPA National Fire Protection Association 92 table A 4.61 and the average leakage ratio for floor ceiling is also by default provided by NFPA 92 table 4.6.1 and the, this one is the stairwell door details like uh, here you can see there is only one door here uh, this one and this one this one these are all are one door uh, so if you have one door you just provide the size of the door in uh, meter number of doors and how much force required for the door to close here you have different criteria by default you can uh, use 35 45 55 I am just using 25 uh, that is the standard one so door one and two are arranged in series or parallel you will just provide if the doors are in series so you will provide this in series or it's in parallel so you will provide in parallel average gap between door leaf and door frame how much the uh, how much the gap between the door leaf and door frame uh, like uh, you have door and the f in which the uh, uh, in which the frame in which the door is connected and door is installed and uh, by hinges so there must be some gaps between the door and the frame so you will calculate this uh, uh, average gap and provide it here uh, select three doors like to be opened during evacuation how much door you want to be, uh, you want to open during evacuation if you have three doors two doors so if you want to open just one door which will be a1 this is the a1 data and this is the a2 data so exit door 1 will be a1 like uh, and exit exit door 2 will be a2 so it depends upon on your uh, sequence of operation and at last this is the calculated data by the excel sheet and you will get the total air requirement that is the 7106 liter per second for your staircase pressurization system so when this uh, airflow is uh, calculated like 716, 716, uh, 7106 liter per second and it will be different according to your building size so you will install that amount of uh, airflow uh, fan to provide that much air to pressurize this uh, stairwell so this is the uh, some uh, details of stairwell pressurization system uh, if you have any question you can uh, ask me and uh, i will provide this excel sheet you can calculate it it's uh, very best basic and uh, it's best for the fresh engineers and uh, other uh, designers that are uh, working on sites uh, thank you